Hello, Alan Biggs, welcoming you to a very festive edition <laughs> of The Ref Show, if it wasn't obvious enough uh, as it is. And we do have some Christmas cheer on the show this week. Don't look so surprised. Uh, this is the show that tells it as it is. And today we tell you that it's good, even very good in places. Elsewhere, though, there was a bad line call and potentially another wrongful dismissal, among other things. But we do start with a smile. I mean, you can't <laughs> help but smile. <laughs> we have Mark Halsey and we have the very sensibly attired yeah. Carlton Palmer. He's getting a red card because he would not come dressed as well. I'm still, I'm, still, I'm still festive, purple, very bright. You can't miss me. No, you can't miss him either. <laughs> you're, not wrong, you're not wrong then, buddy. I'll tell you what, he's going to get some stick. <laughs> I am. Well, I, I am as well. Um, is there any history that we that we should know about here before we get on to the no, games? Always got on well with you, didn't I? You know, he had a lot to say for himself, but I'll give him a little bit. <laughs> Never. <back. laughs> Did you have a lot to say for yourself? Oh, yes. yes. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. astonishing. Always, always um, we, we, yeah, we did. I mean, we can't, we can't, you know, repeat you what, what the conversations we had on the pitch on this show. But, uh, I'm sure not. We had some good ones. <laughs> people would like it if you did, I'm sure. <laughs> Our ratings would go up. Anyway, let's start with this. We've been calling for this all season. This was the QPR West Brom game. Craig Pawson was refereeing and he awarded QPR a penalty for grappling. Hallelujah. Yes, I mean, he was in, he was in a great position. Um, people, some people will say it was soft. Um, Alan Shearer did apparently. Yeah, I think yeah, I understand he did. Um, but I mean, he's got his arm. I mean, he's not give it for the first offence with his arm around because he's not done too much wrong. That's that's acceptable. I think that's an acceptable part. But I think when he sort of just yanked his shirt back, then I think so. Um, Craig, so Craig's coming and, and, and giving a penalty. But I thought he missed a blatant one later on on um, on Joey Barton. I think it was uh, was it Morrison who, who, who brought him I down. I thought it was just I thought it was just a penalty as well. Yeah. But see, the defenders now, all this grappling business and not looking at the ball, mm. actually, the defender should have just got in the right position. Yeah. It's a penalty mm. for me. I don't care how soft it is. Yeah. If, you, if you put your hands on somebody anywhere else on the yeah. football pitch, it's a free kick. It's and this has changed. It's Since it's you right. played, this defensive technique has changed. Because it wasn't in the game, was it, when you played? Well, well it was. I mean, when I, I remember playing a, a, against Italy uh, and uh, San Marino, um, and they weren't even looking at the ball. Never even looked mm. at the ball. So if the corner was coming the other way, they'd just put their arms around you and block you. Well, it's a free kick. Mm. It's obstruction, it's a free kick. But it's and become rife now, hasn't it? It has. Yeah. And it's... And it's it's poor defending. Just yeah. get in a good position. Right. Well, okay. well, well done, Craig. So well done, Craig, yeah. for spotting that one. Yeah. And also being brave enough to do something about it. And that sets a, a tone because there's not no bigger deterrent than a penalty kick being awarded. But well, if you, if you look at... Um, first of all, if, if, if there's discontent about a decision, all the players get round the referee. Not one person went round the referee. No. So they knew. That tells. OK. Well, some other... Good performances to, to, to extol but, but before we go on. But first, a couple of uh, line calls. Uh, Manchester City 3, uh, Crystal Palace 0. This was Phil Dowd in the middle. Neil Warnock was very, very aggrieved here. James MacArthur's header ruled offside, uh, Mark. Uh, Peter Kirkup, I think, was the... Yeah, it came in a very assistant. important time of the game because if Crystal Palace gets back into the game there, I think the game becomes a, a, a totally different game and, and Man City mm. you know, are, are a bit vulnerable at the back. Um, Peter clearly not in line with the rearmost last defender and um, you've got, to, as I keep saying at this level, they've got to get those right and I don't think it's the first time that Peter Kirkup's got an offside wrong this season. Is that Neil Warnock nitpicking or do you think he's got a real grievance there? Well, it's, it, it's, it's a poor decision. I mean, the linesman wasn't up with play, um, but I, I, don't, I don't agree that uh, it would have affected the outcome. I mean, Crystal Palace were never in the game as far as I'm concerned, um, but it goals dictate games, and, yeah. and that, was a, that was a goal. You've got to be careful here, Phil. I heard uh, Robbie Savage saying about Man City, uh, saying that they're poor defensively. They had the best defensive record for the last three years. Oh, yeah, but like... They haven't conceded yeah. a goal in five games, and everybody keeps saying they've got a bad, worst defensive record. There's a yellow card, because I'm Mark. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. I'll accept we all make mistakes, didn't we? We all yeah. make mistakes. Listen, on, on Sheffield TV last week, I said, that's <laughs> goodbye, that's my last show of 2015. I'm like a year <laughs> ahead of the game. Anyway, let's go to Spurs against Burnley at White Hart Lane, and a bit of a talking point about Spurs' first goal in that, in that game. Uh, Sean Dyche wasn't happy. Yeah, I think Sean was saying, I mean, it's, it's a bit contentious again about, you know, was it deliberate handball? Because it did strike his arm. Was it deliberate? I would say no. Um, but, you know, Mike Jones is the referee, in his opinion, it was. Um, also, you go on to 
um, a moving ball. Um, obviously, the ball sh should be stationary. And I think, you know, if you play a moving ball, then it's got a bit more pace on it and it gets to where it's going. I mean, Carlton may say um, it's a bit pedantic, but, you know, on a, on, a, on a ceremonial free kick like that, the ball really has to be stationary. Yeah, the, the ball incident doesn't really matter to me that much because the ball didn't travel that great. I understand uh, the situation that it should be still. What, what grates me more than anything else is as a defender and as a, as a coach, as a manager, you tell your, your back four to squeeze up. They're squeezed up. He's in offside position. Once they've squeezed up, there's not a cat and nails chance that you can get back on, on goal side. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you can do. So eventually, you're gonna, you, you can't, you, you just can't do it because if you're staying deep, you're going to get done in here. Mm. And, that, and that's the problem. Inactive, not inactive. Mm. For me, offside is offside. It's a nightmare, isn't it? It must be for defenders particularly. It is uh, because you can't, it, it, yeah. if you squeeze up, you, you can't get back in. Mm. No. I think, I think offside has become more complicated than anything now. Yeah, Football is a simple game. We're just making yeah. it so difficult for ourselves. Well, actually, a offside. nameless a, a, a Premier League referee who shall remain nameless, mm. uh, this was Rightly a conversation so. about three years ago, yeah. actually said to me, offside, is, I, don't, I don't understand what the law is anymore. Was that, yes, me? Is that me, by the might, way? It might you. <laughs> <laughs> could easily have been you. Uh, let's not admit that it was you. No, no, so. no, no, but, no. It, but it boils down to interpretation. Yeah. 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 Let's You're, go on to the two big derbies at the weekend. And there's nothing better than when big games are well refereed. And I think that's pr probably the case in both these. Certainly Keith Hackett in his blog on mm. You Are The Ref praised both Anthony Taylor for his handling of Newcastle Sunderland and also Michael Oliver for Liverpool Arsenal. Let's start in the North East. Uh, First and foremost, a great advantage uh, played by Anthony Taylor for the winning goal. Yeah, absolutely. And that's and as a referee, as I said before, that's what you want. You want the game to flow, you, and you want the referee to play advantages. I wouldn't say it was one of the most um, feistiest North East derbies I've, I've seen, but at the, sa at the same time, you've still got mm. to control it. Um, and, I, and I thought he, uh, yeah, he done done well. I thought he'd done very well. You know, you look at this, you can look at isolated incidents during the game. You can say that perhaps Colaccini was lucky that. Um, he didn't see red, um, but Anthony chose chose to yellow. So you know he's man he's managing the game. But there's sometimes you, there are instances you can't manage. And I think when you have a you know we're, we're looking to protect players, and we've seen a lot of nasty challenges lately. And for me, you know I think if he had a red carded, I don't think anybody would have complained. And I think it would have enhanced his reputation. But you know ever, taking that aside, I thought he refereed the game very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's all down to interpretation. I think referees should be able to, to, to referee with, with, with discretion, mm -hmm. right? So in a local derby, you're going to expect uh, uh, a few feisty challenges. If you hand out yellow cards early, you're only going to leave yourself with nowhere to go, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So as long as they're not bad challenges, I mean, got to be a little bit careful. Part of the game, we, I was talking to Erste about this the other day, part, part, of the, part of the game as a defender used to be intimidation yeah. to a certain degree. You know, yeah. Yeah. I'm not talking about like in the olden days where the first challenge was free, which I used to like. But, <laughs> you know, if you've got a player who's not maybe the bravest, you, mm. you go and put a challenge yeah. in. Yeah. If you do that in a local derby early doors and the referee gives you a booking, you, you know, you, yeah. you, you're on the sketching yeah. round. And then the referee, if it, maybe even if it's an, a nonsical thing, but it's a it's a yellow card, has to send him off. But you talk about that, you know, the local derbies. You, as a referee, you've got to set your tolerance level up there. And I just felt his first yellow card, I think it was, was it Coat? I think early it was Coat. Early on. Yeah, just early. outside. Yeah. I thought he could manage that. And then there's ne the next yellow card was yeah. the Colaccini thing. Mm. So for but me... But overall... Oh, overall, I thought he'd done, I thought he'd done very time. well. I thought he refer he'd refereed the game well. He refereed okay. the game well. So yeah. we come on to Michael Oliver. This is Liverpool 2, Arsenal 2. Again... Uh, a, a good performance. So I know that you, there are a couple of points you want to make. Yeah, well, I mean, once again, it's, it's, it's a massive game. I've done the game as well. It's, it's, it's a tough game. And say you want to come out of the game unscathed, and you want to, you know, just want to go in it. And once again, you've got to set that tolerance level up there. And I thought, and I, once again, I thought he had a, a very good game. But there was just a couple of little isolated instances in the game. I mean, you look at um, Flamini; he'd already on a yellow card for a yeah. challenge, and then, then again in the first half, he leads um, with his elbow, and he catches. Um, was it? Um, uh, the, anyway, the, cool. the, the, the Liverpool yeah. player in, 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 yeah. in the face, um, the line, I think it was. Yeah. And so you're looking, is that, is that a yellow card for a reckless use of the arm? And nine times out of ten it is. But because mm -hmm. he'd already been cautioned, you just, you know, you don't want people talking about him. Um, but then you go on to, uh, is it Barini, um, 
in second half when he sent off. Uh, the Flamini um, incident should have picked up a second yellow. And well, yeah, you can un you can understand. Possibly, say it's, it's, yeah. it's down to his, his his judgment, his decision, and yeah. his discretion, and he, he decided not to. Um, but, but overall, in these two big derbies, we're, we there wasn't a great deal of discussion about the referee in either. No, no. Oh, which is there's good, always no. going to be there's always going to be at, at the end of every game. Uh, there's always going to be a talking point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there's uh, going to be something that they get wrong, isn't exactly. there? That's inevitable. Exactly. Uh, you, they're not going to go through a game without not making a mistake. No. You know. So at least bo both results, I don't think there could be any argument about. No. I think I think Sunderland probably uh, just de deserved that. And and Alan Pardew said there was nothing in the game. He totally agreed. And both managers, uh, Wenger and Rogers, both came out and said, well, we're probably half each. So mm, that's right. You know, at the end of the day, if the result reflects the referee's performance, then that's very nice. That's right. Fine. Just a I few thought, more to breeze. But I just breeze. thought the Liverpool player was who got who came on the sub. Was it Born um the Liverpool was it Borney? Um Barini? Barini, sorry, yeah. sorry, Bar Barini, yeah. I mean he deserved to be sent off. Um you know obviously right. descent by action and then the challenge um, silly. on on yeah. Casola. He was lucky that it, he didn't show him a straight red card for that I, challenge. I, I, so I he's only so. he's only looking at a one match now instead of a, a free match. Right. So you know, he was, he, he, was, he was lucky not to be shown a straight red, but well refereed to, the, to Anthony and... Um OK, just uh, go, going breezing through now. Hull nil, Swansea 1. Mark Clattenburg up to his usual uh, high standards in that one. Uh, Hull had a penalty claim in the dying seconds for a tug on Tugbo, but even Steve Bruce didn't make very much... It, no, so. I mean, I mean, right. Steve, if Steve Bruce was unhappy, he would have said, he would have yeah. said, and he was just con he concentrated all his criticism on, on his players. Um, and as I say, Steve was a you know hard hard defender, and yeah. you know he'd, he'd have thought. Well, I think if he'd have got that, he'd have most probably said it was very soft, and you know he didn't, they didn't deserve it. Southampton three, Everton nil. That was Jonathan Moss. Uh, there was a Shane Long penalty appeal rejected at, at nil nil. Again, I don't think that was really clearly defined. Keith Hackett made a point to me that uh, he felt that Jonathan Moss allowed play to go on at one point when a player had a head injury and he should have Yeah, I mean, it. yeah, where, where, as, uh, as, as a referee, you're not, you're not a doctor and I think when you do get head injuries, I think you don't matter where the players, you, you stop the game straight away. You absolutely, because you you, you, you just don't know, do you? I'm not, sure, I'm not sure if the referee was sure that was an head injury, injury at the yeah. time. Sometimes you can't be. It's, it's, you can't no, you be. can't be. But no. you got yeah. to look at. You got to be aware. I mean, if there's a challenge. But you know, going on to the penalty, it was. I mean, it was. It, it, sh it should have been given, and he, he ended up giving a, um, a corner when it should have been a goal kick. But I understand oh, okay. the um, Roberto Martinez says, "Oh, it should have been a penalty anyway," so we can't complain. So yeah. Manchester United, 1-1 at Aston Villa. Lee Mason's in charge here. We have quite a categoric uh, talking point and a verdict on this one. Gabby Agbon Lahore uh, and the challenge on Ashley Young sent off. Carlton? Well, I thought, first of all, uh, the referee was too quick. Too quick. Straight away, if you see him, he goes straight to his pocket. I know there's a collision and a coming together of two players at a at, at, at terrific place. But the, 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 for me, even watching the game, right, I didn't see any, any feet raised. So we're, he's not consulting his lineman, he's not had anything from his fourth division. So for him to go straight to his pocket, he's got to be 100%, that's a red card. And I don't see how he sees that. Well, in fact, Paul Lambert and Aston Villa are appealing that as we speak. Oh, he'll get Mark. rescinded with that. Yeah, I mean, okay. Carlton's right. You know, he pulled out his red card too quickly. He didn't give himself any thinking time. But if you look at Lee's position, he was right behind Ad Bonilor yeah. from, from, from a bit of distance. And once again, he's not made himself. He's not got himself in a good viewing angle um, to see to see the challenge. He's got to make that angle. You know, he missed a couple of things in the Arsenal Newcastle game the week before. So is that playing on his mind? He, he missed the the, the TOT red card. Um, I, I, I just think he, he's gone by player reaction. He's guessed, and he's guessed wrong. And finally, uh, Martin Atkinson, who uh, we regularly mention near the top of the show in the first few weeks of the season. He's at the bottom of the show this week for a very good um, reason. that He's in a steady run of form. Would you agree? Uh, this was West Ham 2, Leicester 0. Yeah, he's, I mean, you know, he's, he, as I said before, he's had an indifferent start, but he just seems to be refereeing with a lot of confidence and he seems to be... I think he's lost a little bit of weight and he's moving around the field a lot a lot better, a lot quicker. He's got that little... He's got that sprint, he's got that um, spring in his step and he, I think he's refereeing extremely well. Good stuff. 
Uh, we look forward to welcoming Carlton next week again. Uh, he's back. Uh, there's no. We're, we're in civvies next week, uh, oh, chaps. So you. I mean, you can come. Alle this alle week. <laughs> <laughs> so we get to rid of this clobber, uh, and that's time for us to wrap up, as it were, this uh, festive edition of the Ref Show. And let's hope we have some really good things to say about uh, the standard of refereeing next week as well. I know that Keith Hackett has made a point on ULRF.com that he, is this a turning point for referees this season? Let's hope so. Thanks ever so much for watching. We'll see you next week. In the meantime, have a very Merry Christmas. Bye.